So um, in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we have absolute value of negative 6x is equal to 24. Now, the process that I say, the first, the first step in the process is to isolate the absolute value symbol. Is my absolute value symbol isolated? Is there any operation that's being applied to the outside of the symbol? No. So guess what? Step number one is done for us. We don't have to apply it. Step number two is to create our two cases. Well, what are our two cases that we are talking about? Well, remember over there, if I say the absolute value is equal to a, equal to a quantity, then the quantity inside the absolute value could be positive or it could be negative, right? So what I'm going to say is we want to create two cases. We want to create the case where it's equal to positive and where it's equal to negative. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the quantity inside the absolute value the same. So one, we can write the po um, once one case is just how it is without the absolute value. And then the other case is, because remember, inside the absolute va the value of x could be positive or it could be negative inside the quantity, inside the absolute value. So therefore, the other case is we're going to negate the other side. Negate meaning just multiply by a negative. Now, you just solve two equations, and that's it. So we divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6. What we get is x is equal to negative 4, and x is equal to oh shit, positive 4. OK, now let's kind of make some sense with this. I didn't check our answers um, with equations because you know it should have been something you guys remember. But let's go back and make sure this makes sense. You can always go back and check your answer. Negative 6, and you're definitely going to want to when we get to another problem, um, times negative 4. Negative 6 times negative 4 is what? Absolute value of 24. Absolute value of 24 is 24. Let's plug it in for here. Negative 6 times positive. Oops. Negative 6 times positive 4. Negative 6 times positive 4 is negative 24. Absolute value of negative 24 is positive 24. So both of them work. Right? If you plug them both in for there, they both equal 24. Okay. So once you create your two cases, 